Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to, uh, Scratches, the director's cut. Which, I don't know if that's part of the title, or if this is actually the director's cut of the game. But I'm just gonna keep calling it the director's cut. Last time, we, uh, it, 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 it took four hours to go mail a letter. So now here we are, back again at 4 p.m. I can't write. Uh, I can't go to bed, so for, at 4 p.m., uh, I guess we're just gonna dick around. Because, because reasons. So now, uh, now it's time to go look at more stuff. More stuff look at. I think we've scoured most of the house, though. The, uh, the last thing that we got as a prompt was that it's going to be getting dark soon. What are you going to do about it, you silly shit? And I was like, I don't know. My, uh, my idea right now is to light a fire. Like, right here. Because I don't have anything in my, you know... Uh, I don't know if it's gonna get cold, but I know it's gonna get dark. Well, actually, can I light this? Can I, can I light this up? There's no oil in it. Okay, I need oil. Okay, not that cold. So we're, we're looking at this for warmth. Not light. So, I need to find oil. I'd think that there'd be some type of oil in the basement. But he has this thing about the basement. We go down there and he starts freaking out. Like, man, I'm uncomfy. But that's just what happens, you know? Go downstairs and uncomfortableness just happens. I don't know where any oil would be. I have, I have no... Let's see, what, what keys do I have? I have a newspaper. And an awl. Which I wish was oil, but it's not. It's even spelled all different and stuff. Oh, shut up. It's literally just a normal looking basement. Why do you have to play this every time I come down here? Uh, the switches are still broke. Uh, I don't know what this tool's for. It looks like something that you'd use. Oh, wait, no, that's a dustpan. This look. That's blending in with the floor really well. I thought it was like a loop that you put around in barrels or something. No oil. Uh, there's a bunch of bottles. Bottles. Wait. Nope. Bottles. Any? No, not, none of these. None of these. None of these. Good. I still can't use that. Where would they keep oil in a big place like this? Um, not down here, apparently. Yes, yes, we're leaving. Thank you, music, for making a timely exit. Oh, boy. So, the lantern's probably gonna be super useful for, like, the rest of the game. I just need to find the means with which to... with, with which to use it. I've already checked, like, everything in this place, though. So, truly, I am confused. Hmm. Hmm. Upstairs? I don't remember seeing any oil upstairs. I don't know why there would be any oil upstairs. We got something from basically every room, I think, except the one with the lady. Not the lady. Well, I don't know if that's really a lady's room. It just looks... It just... It's... It... Most men don't put a... Put, like, one of those over... Like, the, the thing that you put over the bed. Like, the awning over the bed. They don't usually have that. Like, I know I wouldn't. I just have like a normal bed, no posts, just just normal bed. But these guys are high class fancy fucks, so I have no idea. That's not gonna be oil, that's gonna be fountain pen ink. I already used the pen, right? But I still have it. So there's going to be more uses for it, or this game doesn't believe in you've used the item and now it's gone permanently. Which just actually for games like this makes it even more confusing. Is a dead person? No idea. Uh, outside? Outside. I'm gonna have maybe oil in my... Not... I'm not gonna have lantern oil in my car. Oh, boy. Um... I'd think that it would be over here. Like, in this mix match of... Mish, mish mash of stuff. But, I mean, there's no real clear indicators. But much, most of the stuff, actually. 
Uh, boy. Everything else over there is locked. Upstairs it is. Unless there's somebody I could call. I called Jerry already. I don't know if we could call Jerry again. Jerry! Oh, we can. That's interesting. Nothing. No candles. All right. Listen. The town isn't too far away. No more than 20 minutes drive. If you can't find some candles there, I'll eat my hat. You'll eat your whole closet. This is getting on my nerves. Come on. It's just a quick ride. You know how to get there? Yeah, I saw it on my way here. Did you call Mr. Busy Electrician who couldn't hold on for just five more minutes? Yes. He'll be doing me another special favor and will be going there tomorrow afternoon. It's the best he can do. You have to bear in mind it's Sunday. We'll charge extra, of course. I don't care. I have no power. I'll get him myself if he doesn't show up. Calm down. Drive to the town before it gets too dark. You won't be able to find your way back if it does. Yeah, I had to buy some food anyway. There you go. Godspeed. And drive safe. Mm, all right. Well, we do have a reason to go other places. Hooray! We'll get here at night and it'll be terrifying. I can't wait. I can't wait. We'll have to find a place to put all the candles. I know that there's a bunch of candle areas, so I'll just stick them in those. Hooray! Pro dress was made. Oh, God damn it! Why do you have to be such a pro? Oh, also, by the way, he's a fucking liar. He did not check every box. And a lot of the cabinets were stuck or locked. The car wouldn't start. It was only then that I realized I had left the lights on. Oh. The car battery was dead. Are you fucking kidding me? No, go to the front. Go to the area where the boot isn't. Can I go? Fuck! Oh my god. Look, it's getting dark. How long did it take me to come outside and try to start my car? Good Christ. Come, mm. It took me two hours. It took me two hours to make a phone call. Jerry, I'm scared! I'm spooked, Jerry! Let me guess. Michael. Jerry, Fuck you. It's insane. My car is dead. What? Are you sure? Have you checked his Shut up, Jerry! Got the lights on and the car ran out of battery. All because of that bloody fog. Jerry, you've got to help me. Get over here. Michael, look at the time. I can't drive to Northumberland right now. But Jerry, I can't spend the whole night without one single source of life. I barely know this place and I won't be able to find my way. Heck, I don't even know if it's rid of ghosts yet. Are you a sleepwalker, Michael? You lie down on the bed, you sleep, you wake up. Exactly. Helping, and you're the one who got me into this mess in the first place. Hold on a minute. It's not my fault if the electrician missed you for a few minutes. There aren't any candles in a three-story mansion, and your car's battery was low. Okay, okay. Listen, when will you be coming back to Rockbury? I'll be arriving home early tomorrow morning, and I'll come for you shortly after. We'll drive to town. Stop yourself up, and then spend the rest of the day in your garden. Don't think there's any plan B either. I'm afraid not. Sorry. I really took all the precautions to make your stay there as comfortable as possible. But I guess sometimes things are just meant to go wrong. Apparently. You're right. I'll be on my way then. Call me back if you need anything. And Michael. Yes. Just don't let this situation get on your nerves. I promise it won't. Goodbye. It already has, Michael. You're such a whiny slut. Let's see what time it is now. Seven. Of course it is. 
Barbara, I need company! I'm so sad! I'd already bothered Barbara enough, and if it wasn't paying her that much after all. Ha 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 ha! Okay, well, it looks like now I'm going to try to go upstairs and do some writing before it becomes too dark to do so. Looking around more, just... Uh, okay, okay, bedtime. We're good. Really? Did you just wake up in the middle of the fucking night, you fat piece of shit? The sound of the hammer banging away wouldn't let me sleep. Hammer? That's probably gonna be upstairs. I can't even interact with anything else. Oh, I hear it. Well, I could only think of one feasible reason for a hammer, and that would be for the upstairs. What the fuck? Oh, I can't, I can't go that way. I can go this way, though. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Okay. That's not cool. That's not cool either. What the fuck? I I just had a dream then undreamt again. Fuck this. Ah, scratching noises. Well, I know where those are because I read the description of the game. I'm going to check in here first to see if there if everything's back in order. It wouldn't move. All right. So everything's back in order. It was just a dream. I am also checking over there because that's going to freak me out. So the scratching finally begin. It's going to be on the downstairs though because you don't put a fire ooh. Oh, everything looks exactly the same down here. That's fine. Yep, it's 12 a.m. How wondrous. Okay, I guess this one's fine. The scratching usually comes from the fireplaces. Or at least that's what I read. Hmm. I guess it stopped. And people won't stop playing video games. Like, over and over. They keep reopening the same ones, apparently. Let's see, where was the other one? Or is that it? I don't think there were any upstairs fireplaces. Hmm. Everything's fine down there. I'll just go back upstairs and go to bed. It's fine. Oh look, now somebody's playing Fallout 4. Neat. Oh, more scratching noises. Actually... Oh. So the scratching's coming from upstairs. Close to the, uh, maybe the roof? On the, oh, on the roof. We have an access to the roof, actually. Come now. Come, come. All right, which one was the roof access? It was this way. Hello? Nothing? 
Okay, well I'd think it would be directly above me, but I guess not. I should be over my room at some some point. I don't know where, where I am right now. Right, I can't go through there. Top, top floor? Oh, I didn't even realize that was there. What a hack job. Nothing? Doesn't seem to be much. Alright. Oh, spooky. Anything out of the ordinary? Everything looks okay. Just some detritus. Detritus. Deuter, deuter, deuter dums. Here's the bathroom, which is useless. So I guess it's not upstairs. Which would make the most sense if it's coming from, you know, a fireplace. Um. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Go straight up. And it's that way, then straight that way. So you'd think, yeah, it would be my fireplace. Maybe it's in the basement. Let's go to the basement. Let's go to the spooky basement in the middle of the fucking night. Who's excited? Who, who's as excited as I am to go to the basement? I thought about investigating, but then I realized the basement would be pitch black at this time. I couldn't go down there without some light. Okay. Um, I still don't have any oil. No oil at all whatsoever. No reason to go outside, unless like I could get like a bird's eye, not a bird's eye view, but like a. Okay, never mind. Already chilly enough inside. Maybe that means that it's cold and I can go light a fire. I light a fire, shit. And burn this whole fucker down because it's covered in dust and everything's brittle as shit. <laughs> okay, I guess it's not that chilly inside. Make a decision, fucker. <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> okay. <laughs> can't call Jerry. That's fine. Gotta, oh, he can't go outside either. I was gonna try to go check the front. Uh, let's see, where haven't I gone yet? The only place that actually has the scratching noise is the chimney. Or the, or the fireplace. I guess it is the chimney technically, isn't it? I listened carefully and I moved the stethoscope around the fireplace. Yes, the noises were coming from there, but I still couldn't determine the source. Can I move this? No, I cannot. Hmm. So I can definitely tell that it's coming from the fireplace, but where do the fireplaces lead? That would be... It would literally just go straight up, wouldn't it? Like, to the chimney, but the chimney doesn't... Like, if I go upstairs, I can't hear the noise anywhere. And obviously, like, if I go on this side, my chimney's, like, right here. Unless it's... My room borders this room. My chimney's over on that side. Uh... No chimneys in here. Uh, there might be another chimney across the hall, actually. I can't remember. I don't think there is. Yeah. I don't think sh I don't think this room has one. No, it doesn't. So if they get cold, they fucked. Bunch of shit. Doog. Adorable Doog. Nothing out of the ordinary.
Row King Chair. Can I rock it spookily? No, I can't. Same as ever. Hmm, nothing from in here. So far, uninteresting. Just a bunch of fucking kids. Some uh, street urchins playing up on the roof. You know how those street urchins are. Nope. Also, for some reason, like, 12 a.m. and 1 and 12 p.m. seem to be about the exact same. Nothing. Is there any place upstairs that I missed? Like, I'm trying- maybe I need to go downstairs again. I have no idea. I'm trying to think if there's any other fireplaces in this entire place that I might have- I've already been all the way up here. Pretty sure. I've been in here. All right. Door is stuck as shit. I don't hear the scratching anyway. Hmm. I'll try downstairs again. Um. In here? My bedroom should technically be right above this room or that room. So. There's no fireplace in here, though, is there? No. No, there's not. There's no oil in here, which would make perfect sense. Don't want to mix those up. Hmm. Another weird thing is that all of the other ones are perfectly quiet. Can I listen in on these? Didn't hear anything in that fireplace. They have to be coming from below. Okay. So, the scratches are coming from this one. Just the thing is, I still don't have a source of light. Like, there's there's no oil to speak of that I could find. Come on, come, come, come. I might have to look up why I can't find any oil. Wouldn't that be some shit? Where? Oh. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> sure. Where, where would I find oil? Like, mm, can't just light up a match and go down there. Can't. No, that wouldn't make any sense. There's not enough stuff. Uh, where do I f light shit on fire? Light on fire. Fuck it. Is there like any sort of like vegetable oil? Nothing. Nothing really. No, no, no. You're not gonna put vegetable oil in a lantern. You know where I think that you'd probably find some uh, uh, lantern oil? In the basement, which I, I, I really can't go to. Like, maybe I'm just supposed to go back to bed. Go back to bed. Hmm. So I would have thought that I would have, like, maybe in the attic, but I think that we already checked out all the attic. So I'll try bed, and if that doesn't work, back to the attic. Scratch, scratch, scratch. The scratches had stopped. I thought it was the right moment for me to go back to sleep. Okay, yeah, bedtime. I went back to bed. Yay! It was already Sunday, I think, unless we just skipped a few days. 
Yeah, no, this is, like, we, it was already Sunday, it's fine. On the second day, a fierce storm had assaulted the land. I could hear the, tree, the trees creaking, or rather, moaning. The lashing of the rain, and I quickly abandoned my hopes of having the power fixed. Ugh. <sighs> Fix your bed. Fix your bed! You stupid. Can I write? I laid my fingers upon the typewriter, but it was unusually cold, and I immediately stopped my desire to write. What the fuck? Why are you such a pussy? <laughs> Why are you such a pussy? Oh, I'm gonna have to go downstairs and call Jerry! Why am I surrounded by bullshit? And why did I have to pick a place where it's probably gonna rain all the time? Am I an idiot? I probably can't go outside either. Uh, oh, yep, there's rain now. There's actually, uh, some animation going- Yep, there we go. Get some of that phone call shit in. It's fucked. <laughs> Storm has hit there too. So the entire universe is falling here. I'm afraid to go outside. Well, the better then as I won't be able to come for you. I'm deeply sorry, but it's seemingly impossible driving to Northumberland. Even less getting anywhere near the manor. I understand many of the roads are closed. So much for my hopes of seeing Mr. Electrician today then. Ah, the benefits of being away from society, eh? I should have listened to you. It's not like I have any other choice, do I? I'm afraid not, my friend. This storm has the power to disturb the dead. Well, it seems like this very same storm has awakened the evil spirits resting inside my new home. What's that? Not sure, but I happened to hear some odd sounds last night. Kind of scratching noises down in the basement. I do remember the cleaning lady saying something about rats. Unless we're talking about mutant rats here. I don't think that's the problem. Michael, my friend, you were tired from a long trip and stressed about the problems you found there. On top of that, you had moved to a very old house. Guess what's the most common complaint from people moving to old houses? Ghosts on the loose. Sort of. Now go focus on your book while you still have enough light. I'll be there as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye. Anything we've done here? No? Barbara! Oh, Barbara. Barbara doesn't get bothered on Sundays. I'm gonna go try to write some more. Because shit, man, there's nothing else in this house to find for me. Unless there are new scratches on the inside of my chimney. Oh, no, no, sorry. The, uh, the scratches aren't from the actual chimney. It's, it's from the boiler thing. Okay. I, I guess, fuck me. I don't know. The piano music is... Is that the game or is that my piano? I guess it's just the background music. Nothing to do with my piano. Okay. Well, time to go look into the basement now that it's light. I'm so glad I don't have to use a guide yet. Ah, uh, because I don't want to edit these. I don't. Anything spookifying? I can't go outside today, can I? At all. It's fine, there's like nothing outside for me anyway, so... Huh, at least the uh, drone has stopped. Okay, and nothing in here, boxes, just giving that another old college try, um, still can't look in here, so let's see, where would the actual like, does anything have to do with the, uh, chimneys down here? Because there's, like, no scratching going on, really. Hmm. 
something going on up there. I'm taking a very close look. Maybe the scratching is coming from down here. I can't do anything about it, but... Shit. I uh, have nothing for that. Anything down there? Menacing look. Yes, yes, yes. You're scared of mundane objects. Anything in here? No. British seagull. <sighs> no scratches. That's unfortunate. Corn wheel still here. Still nothing to eat, of course. I haven't changed anything. Looking outside and seeing. The storm was raging outside and I didn't feel like strolling around in the garden. Didn't I? Maybe I should give Jerry another call? I honestly have, like, no idea what to do. Maybe it's just like, no, it's too cold. It's spooking me, Jerry. <laughs> ah, fuck. That was loud. That was bright as shit. Don't let the lightning flash while you're looking at the phone. That's ungodly. I could have grabbed the umbrella and gone outside, but after carefully studying the soggy panorama through the windows, I decided not to. God damn you. There's even contextual stuff, and you're like, No, I'd rather not. But I'm fine. I'm fine not doing that. Fucking complaining, bitch. I only hear piano music from this end, though. Weird. I, I can't tell what's ambience and what's actually part of the game. Anything weird in here? No? So there's nothing new really to explore. And what would the rain change, if anything? Maybe the upstairs. I can open a couple of windows up there. More exploration of this room, perhaps? Oh! Music's kicking up, that's cool. Uh, nothing has changed. Except for the rain, lots of that. Very spook town. That's the bathroom. Let's go check out the, uh, the outside, from where we can see it. Yes, it is raining. Very good, very good. Hmm. Well, that didn't change much. It's the, there's new graphics for rain. So that's always neat. Anything nice and spooky up here in the most attic-y of attics? I don't know what it is about, like, the lowest and the highest parts of houses that are ma that make them very spooky. Oh, well, there's no light bulb in there. Doesn't matter. We can't turn on the power anyway. So where do we go? The only thing I could think of that would have contextually changed anything was the rain, but we can't go outside. And any place inside that could be touched by rain doesn't really... hasn't really done anything yet. Sorry. So, uh, do I just have to cycle through every room every time the... the, uh... every time the day changes, or... or what? Ah! Why is that so... so bright? Hmm. I've already done my inspection downstairs, and there's, like, nothing going on. Very confused.
basin full of gross water. Rain, rain, rain that I can't use. Also, the contextual piano music is kind of off-putting because it only happens whenever I start to get close to downstairs. It's also very discordant, which you would probably associate with some sort of specter or ghost. But no luck. No specters or ghosts. Guess I could try the basement again, but I'm pretty sure I've already clicked all over that place. No other place could- maybe... maybe the servants' quarters, I don't know. There's no access there. Yeah, it's all just about the same. How about the dark room? Oh, uh, would that change anything? Doubt it. All I know is that it's raining some more. And the waters in here is still disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know the water's not running. Sheet's falling off my head. Wait, what the fuck? No, I wanted to go over next to the bed. The fucking go over there. Right, this just pointed at the floor and didn't show me anything. Oh boy! Starting to get hot under the sheet. Hot as fuck. So what's next? I guess I could explore more of the upstairs. I mean, if we're going to be going to every room. My, my phone's vibrating. I don't know why that is. Gonna ignore it. Ignoring it. Fuck you, phone! Uh, yeah. That was about as uninteresting as I thought it would be. Nothing I can really use here as a lever. Turning things. Oh boy. What am I to do, really? More things I can't use for anything. This thing, which still means nothing to me. Is there anything to burn yet? Can I burn things? Uh, it looks like I have five matches exactly, too. Is there any oil in there? Can I, like, take the oil out and... Of course it doesn't. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. This is exceedingly unclear as to what I am to do next. Jerry doesn't answer my phone calls because I call him too often. Should I inspect my uh, scratch-free thing again? Hmm. Very strange. Ah yes, the uh, all of the medical stuff that made no sense at all. Um, maybe that just means that it's unusually cold, doesn't it? Wants me to go light the fire downstairs. Like it's very cold inside, so I want to go start a fire. Makes sense to me. It wasn't really that cold. <laughs> oh my god. So twice now he's been like, it's cold as shit, but not cold enough to light a fire. Why you gotta do this to me, Michael? Uh, maybe I can use my stethoscope downstairs and like try to listen to shit. I don't I don't really know at this point. 
Come here, look over here. Just some cigars, right? Okay. I wonder if the age actually has anything to do with how, uh, of cigars. Like, does, like, does really old tobacco get worse and worse for you as time goes on? I honestly don't know. Because, I mean, if, it was, if, I, if, it, if I was Michael, I would have been like, wow, I've, sc I've, I've, I've got to go down there and i got to scour because that's where I heard scratching from. But now that I'm actually down here, there's no signs that there was any scratching except from maybe the storm drain? But there's not really... Can I... Couldn't hear anything. Nothing. Uh... Can't really go poking around either. Just looking. I thought I was being very methodical too, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, this just ends in a couple of wires. There's nothing, like, directly weird looking. So I guess back upstairs and back to fucking myself. Oh boy. Oh boy. I might just have to end the episode here and look it up later. This is a pantry, right? I, I, I can't open the pantry. That's great. That's really nice. Uh, the sink isn't going to be useful either. Just because there's water outside doesn't mean it's working. I'm trying to think of where there might be a storm drain besides that one. Like, you'd think that I would, like, supposed to get... I would, like, supposed to just jam myself into the storm drain or something because it's raining. And who knows? Something could be going on beneath there. Don't jam yourself and do it, but, like, just poke around, you know? Like, it's just storm drain. Storm drain. I can't... I can't lever it up. This, this is actually useless. Okay. Maybe I should turn... Should I turn on hints? Maybe... Okay, hang on. Bear with me. No, 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 no. Set up. Hints. Ah! Surround music. Okay, hints. Okay. Okay, let's see. If hints change anything at all. Do I have to, like, right click and press a button? It was my journal. Oh! Uh. Getting more and more complicated by the minute. I'll survive, but I'm becoming truly concerned. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. He might actually have clues in here. Fierce thunderstorm. Hardly make out the garden. I don't recall seeing something like this. I was stranded inside the house for the whole day. Also, I had an interesting dream yesterday. Something was luring me to a hidden door in the gallery. I look into this just in case it's meaningful. Like I thought. Either. Okay, so you want to get upstairs then. I don't know if that was the hint, but I don't think it was. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry, I thought we were in the foyer. We were not in the foyer. I like how he wants to look into the, uh, into the dream, but not the actual thing that was going on. I guess they explained that away with, uh, rats. Hmm. And I don't have any, like, big Yankee tools either. Slice! <laughs> oh boy, that wasn't very useful. Whoa, what the fuck? This is a weird... This is a weird, um... I was holding perhaps the most impressive items in the room. I... This is weird. Like, what? This is... What the fuck? 
Why, why this angle? Is this supposed to be useful to me? Like, I got, this is a really weird angle, honestly. Hmm. I'm trying to go over there, but that's fine. There's a button. No button. Okay. Hmm. I honestly have no idea what to do. Like, yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. I had to move. Like, there's nothing... Nothing really explaining this area at all. I could try to get to the other side of it. But there's nothing really there, so... Okay. I can see that there's, like, the rim of a door there, but... A frame was vi was visible behind the case. But for some reason, because I'm such a wimp, I'm not even going to try to pull it out properly. I'm just going to sit here and stare at it and hope it moves for me. This part is weird to me. Because it's just like, oh, like, like this is a case, and it's a big case, and it's... The bottom of the case seemed to have some kind of panel. It was stuck firmly in place. Can I jam it open? No. Can't clean it. I can't wedge it. Wait! Ha! Finally! Finally something happened! The panel had been concealing a couple of wheels. Wait, shit. Shit. I just undid my work. Okay. Now? The fuck? It's a couple of wheels. Yes. I need to clean them. It was clean enough. Wasn't useful. I could have hurt myself, but I'll, I'll use it to pry open the bottom of a case holding priceless artifacts, but anything else is too much. He didn't fit. Like, I honestly... Okay. Like, yes, there's a couple wheels. Is it... Okay. Yeah, this case is holding lots of impressive stuff. It wouldn't move. Despite the fact that I just took off the panel. Can I move this? No? No? This is... This is weird. Like, there should be something I'm supposed to do here, right? Because you'd think at this point, like, it would move. Like, anything weird about the wheels, or... No, listen to him. Set them on fire. Yes, you are! Shut the fuck up! I'm sorry, that was rude. But I have a need to write on such a thing. I don't know what I could possibly do. So it has wheels, but it doesn't necessarily state that they're stuck. They just happen to be wheels. Yes, yes, I can see this. I, okay, so that's an area I can look at. Can't you look up there? Trying to look for things around the sides and the tops. What about this area? No? No? You don't want to scour every inch of this thing now that we know that there's stuff? Can I go over there? Why do you have to be- why do you have to be so useful to me? Why do you have to be so- such a piece of shit? Do you just write about it? Did you write about this? No. Of course you didn't. You're just- just a fuck. So turning on hints hasn't seemed to have done anything. Unless there's something else I can... No. I don't know. Can I, like, does this... Does it offer, like... Does, does the magnifying glass offer any... Any more useful stuff? Nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Yay. 
All I know is that this pops on and off. That's all I've managed to do after wrenching it out with a knife. Um... I guess that's it for now? Because I honestly have no idea what I'm supposed to do next. Oh well. Unless I can get to it a different way. Like, wedging the knife behind the frame. You, you wouldn't. Moving this pot. It, it's... <laughs> Michael's so useless. Oh, boy. Okay. Thank you all for watching. I'm gonna get down to the foyer first, as is my wand. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope to make more progress in the future. I might have to look up a thing. It's been two hours. <laughs> I spend so much time doing useless shit, apparently. Um, unless I'm supposed to call Jerry. Jerry, there's a thing. No, no, my realtor is not going to tell me about the door. That's cool. Okay, thank you all for watching. I'll try to have more answers next time I turn the game on. So you all have a lovely night, day, thing, and I, I, I strongly suggest to, that you be smarter than Jerry. In any and all situations, just be smarter than Jerry. You all have a good one. I love you all very much, and goodbye.